alcohol. Some people try to stop drinking it for a few days, some people last a few months, but what happens when you stop drinking for 90 full days? Well, what I wanna do for you is I want to break down five things that you can expect throughout the journey. So I'm gonna be talking about the first few days, the first month, the first 60 days, the first 90 days, and what could happen during this journey because I think that you've got a lot of great things to expect, but what I want you to do is I want you to be prepared. I want you to know what to expect so then you've got something to look forward to and you know the pitfalls and you know the things that you may have to encounter. So I think you guys will really enjoy this video. And very quickly guys, before we get into the video itself, if you want my personal help stopping drinking using first principles thinking, so without AA and willpower and rehabs, then make sure to click the link in the description. There'll be a short video that you can watch that explains how I work with people, how the method works, and then you can actually book a call and you and I can speak and we can see if this program may be a good idea for you. So make sure to click the link in the description for more details on that. The first thing that you can expect when you stop drinking for 90 days is what will happen in the first few days. Now, the first few days will be different for different people. Some people will not really feel much different. They'll just kind of get through the first few days like it's not a big deal. Then on the other side of the spectrum, there can be people that will need to be doing this with medical supervision. And if you even suspect that you may need medical help, just go and seek it. But what I'm almost certain of is that you will feel a little bit strange. You will feel like something's missing, like something's not quite right. But after the first few days, that feeling kind of lifts and then you can just go on about things. Now, I know this is a fact because I've worked with numerous people now in the Sober Clear program and, and people keep telling me this again and again, something doesn't feel quite right. It's not that they want to drink, but just something feels like it's missing and it's totally okay to feel that way. There are people that won't feel like that. Like I personally didn't really have much of a, a period of feeling a bit strange. It was just kind of like I'd stopped and then that was kind of it. But it just depends on how long you've drank for, how much you've drank, but just expect the first few days to be a little bit peculiar. So the second thing you can expect happens in the first few weeks. It might be the first few weeks. It might be the first 30 days. And again, different people will experience different things. Now, some people, People, people that might have been drinking for many years, they've just been daily drinking, they might have been drinking a fair amount, they may find that in the first few weeks, energy levels fluctuate. They go up, they go down, and some days they feel great, they just want to get after it, and then the next day they might just struggle to get out of bed and just drag themselves through the day. Some people in the first few weeks, they'll just be already feeling good, they're already kind of getting that momentum again, but different people will definitely experience different things. But whatever your experience is, it's okay. If your energy is up and down, it will get better. If if you, if you don't have that experience, all good. But what you can expect in the first few weeks, for some people that might happen after two weeks, for some people it might happen after a few days, for some people it might even be a month into the journey, you can expect good things to start happening. One of the most noticeable differences will be the change in your mood. You will start to feel more positive, you will start to think happier thoughts, and you'll just start to be in a much better mood overall. The other thing that you can expect is energy can start coming back. You can start to feel that little bounce where you're feeling just good, you've got the clean and natural energy that just kind of goes all day, and you can definitely start to experience more days where you feel that good energy. And the other thing that you can experience is the clarity of mind comes back. It's like the brain fog lifts. You can really start to think clearly again and plot things out and just think through things. And this can happen in the first 14 to 30 days. Again, like I said, different people will start to see these benefits at different points, it just depends. But definitely by 30 days in, you will really start to notice the difference. So when you're kind of finished that first month and you're kind of in like a 30 to 60 day mark, this is where big changes start. What I start seeing at this point from people in the Sober Clear program is their body starts changing. They either start losing weight, maybe gaining a bit of muscle. I mean, I've seen people that lose like 20 pounds within the first six weeks, even up to 30 pounds. I mean, what we find is that because we're not filling our body with poison and all the calories that come in alcoholic drinks and we're putting good food in us and we might be getting a bit of exercise in again, some hiking, some, some weightlifting, whatever, your physical body just starts to look better. Also, people's skin starts clearing up at this point. You know, the, the redness in the skin can start getting better. The water retention that's in the face can start kind of disappearing and your face can start looking leaner. And really, it's at this kind of point, like 30 to 60 days, where people start noticing. People will start saying, what are you doing? There's something different about you. You know, you're looking different, you're sounding different, your energy is different. And for a lot of people, the people that are closest to them in their life will start paying attention and they'll start be asking, you know, what are you doing? Now, some of you guys, you know, you're going to be very open and transparent about your journey. Others aren't. You're just going to kind of do this and get on this journey and not drink alcohol and not really tell anybody. And you know what? Because the change can be so drastic after the kind of 30 to 60 days, people do start noticing. But you can definitely start to see changes in those 30 to 60 days of how you look and sure, how you feel will be much better as well. Which leads me to what happens kind of in that two to three month mark. And what happens then 
is confidence starts increasing. If you've ever tried to stop drinking before and you might have failed, you might have said, okay, I'm gonna stop for a month and then your last two weeks or you stop for a month and then go on this crazy binge after a month. If you've actually got to the point of like 60 days, 70 days, 80 days, 90 days, what can happen now is confidence will start going up because you've promised yourself that you will do something and this time you followed through. You're creating some kind of track record. And if you take the approach that I take and I help people take is when we really focus on the future and you, let's say you know, you're know you 60 days in, you've got back to the gym, your nutrition's good, you're sleeping well, you're spending more time with the family, you're working on your career, you're starting to create a track record of success. So now when you look back at the past 60 days, you see all of these little wins. You see See, like these workouts, this weight loss, this respect from family, this, I don't know, promotion or recognition at work, you start to see all of these little wins. And then what happens is the belief that you've got in yourself just goes up and up and up. And you can really start to see that if you continue on this path that you've already started, good things are going to happen. So around that 60 to 90 day mark, that's when confidence will be really high, which leads me to the final point of the video, and it's kind of when you get to around the 90 day mark. Now, this is when you really start to realize it's done. Like you have truly finished with alcohol. Because if you've lasted 90 days and you felt good the whole time and you've not felt like miserable about not being able to drink and you're 90 days into the, into the journey, you really feel like it's a done deal, it's finished. And this can be such a liberating feeling. It can be one of the best feelings that you'll ever experience. Because now you realize that with the track record that you've just started to create, with not drinking and focusing on the future and, and getting in the gym and doing all of this good stuff, 90 days in, the results will be pretty dramatic. The change that can happen in 90 days after being a drinker for many years is just quite remarkable. And what really happened for me is around 90 days in, this is when I actually booked a flight to, to Chiang Mai, Thailand. And this was just over three years ago. I booked the flight to Thailand and I had this new sense of confidence that I was done. I was completely done with alcohol. I knew that I'd never go back there. And this was around, I think it was around the 90 day mark. And I really had this belief that if I could continue this path of being a non drinker the sky is truly the limit. I can do all the things that I wanted to do. And that's when things get interesting. That's when things can really start to just ramp up. So wherever you are on the journey, keep going because it gets better and better and better. Now, like I said, if you do want my help stopping drinking, do make sure to click the link in the description and I hope you have a great day.